Let's talk about why you should own multiple guns. This gun here, completely clear. First ever firearm. Take this off. First ever firearm, Smith & Wesson knife. It's the most comfortable gun for me. I can wear this gun with my jeans, sweatpants, shorts, anything I'm wearing for the day. I can wear this gun. It's very comfortable. This is a Donna PX9, completely clear. Very heavy gun. Very, very heavy gun. This gun, I can wear with just jeans, with sweatpants or shorts. It will weigh me down because the gun itself is so heavy. It's even heavy racking it to the back like this. It's very heavy. One of my lighter guns is the new Taurus. This gun is super light. I can also wear this with anything, shorts, sweatpants, or jeans. I don't carry this as much because I just don't, I still have a problem with the racking and back thing. That's an issue to me. If I gotta pull it all the way back with all that force, it's an issue to me. So I don't carry this gun as much. It's just here. That is one main reason. It's another reason. It's too many guns out here to choose from. You got compact guns, you got full size guns. Compact versus full size, I made a video about, maybe about two weeks ago. A compact gun is maybe something that holds less rounds, like say uh, eight plus one or 10 plus one. And a full size gun is something that holds like uh, 18 plus one or 19 plus one whatever it holds so that's another reason compact versus full size there's a lot of different reasons to own multiple guns and just like if somebody break into your house or you got to use your gun in a self-defense situation your gun's gonna get taken by the police they gotta do an investigation conduct all this information and they're gonna take your gun then if you only have that one gun and they take the gun you won't have no gun to protect yourself or you won't have no other firearm also if you want to protect your home you can use whatever gun you want a lot of people use a shotgun but like i said they're going to take your gun if you get into like a self-defense situation until they conduct an investigation and everything is settled your gun is going to be gone in police custody so just think about those things most of my guns i like to wear comfortably i don't like to walk around and feel my gun weighing me down, like literally weighing me down, cause it's so heavy. That's why I don't carry my Zagana. That's why I don't carry my Taurus, because like I said, the racking issue, you gotta pull it back that hard. It's, it's enough for me. So I don't carry the Taurus as much. I do carry my SD9. So that's my carry gun. And that is a couple of reasons why you should own multiple guns. Also, for aesthetics, like I like this gun. I keep it here for a reason. I love the way it looks. The wood on this is just beautiful. That's one reason why I keep this gun here, fully unloaded in the back of every video, because it's aesthetically pleasing. I love the way the gun looks. That's another reason. Uh, different guns just appeal to you. They just jump out to you. It's so many different guns to choose from. From shotguns to rifles to AK-47s, pistols, compact, subcompact. Uh, it's so many different brands, so many different things you could choose from. It's just a lot of different stuff with guns. So you should have multiple guns for multiple various reasons. Because guns can be very addictive. It's just like if you get one tattoo, you're not going to just get one. You're going to keep going. They, guns can be very addictive and they can be a very expensive habit to have because some guns could may range from, say, like 130 to like 4,500 or 4,500. It's, it's all different. Uh, it's, all different prices, all different guns. So just 
go for what you like. That's one of the couple of reasons why you should have multiple guns. Last but not least reason is comfortability for your EDC or everyday carry. You want to walk around with a gun that's comfortable, that feels comfortable, something you know about, something you're comfortable with using. You don't want to buy a gun, don't know nothing about it, and just walk around with it. Because if you get yourself in a situation, you want to be able to know how to use that gun. You don't want to be fidgeting with it, fumbling around, trying to figure out how to do this, do that. You want to know what you're doing. So, comfortability is another key factor in picking out a gun. Something that's comfortable for you, something you feel comfortable with, and something that you know how to use. It's important to know how to use your firearm in all situations, all instances. That all stems back to learning how to break your gun down and knowing your gun, which I made a couple, I mean, I made a video about a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago. That's what it all stems and brands down to. So, with all that information being said, I hope you learned something. And I thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I thank you guys so much for being here, subscribing, and everything that you're doing. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow because I'm going to do like, I'm going to try and narrow it down to like a 40 or 50 second little talk before my next video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.